Wes Anderson is probably one of the most meticulous technical directors out there. His style is really like no other, often imitated, never duplicated. But his newest entry to his filmography, Asteroid City, really feels way too much of a parody. I'll you right now. Now. You hear that? General Gibson says stand down. You married? Of course. Look, I love me some Wes Anderson. The Grand Budapest Hotel, Moonrise Kingdom, and Fantastic Mr. Fox are some of my favorite films of the 2010s. Their balance of over-stylized productions and empathetic cast of characters is what really makes Wes who he is as a filmmaker. But now imagine only those set designs with nothing else to offer. Wes Anderson has been falling on a bit of a formulaic path these past couple of movies, often relying on short stories to be told in a feature-length film. And while that worked for something like 2021's The French Dispatch, he fails to understand what made that film more cohesive. Like there was an overarching undertone told throughout, and that really just doesn't show here. Even with probably the most stacked cast of his entire career, he fails in delivering a compelling story to be told. It's really just style over substance. It felt like the most soulless Wes Anderson movie I've ever seen. Like, while I do love Jason Schwartzman and Scarlett Johansson's chemistry and characters, nothing ever comes of it. You took a picture of me. Uh-huh. Why? I'm a photographer. Their tandem is slowly built and pulled under you at the end. And that really just happens to a lot of character dynamics shown throughout here and nothing comes of it. All these rug pulls the movie's doing feels jarring and makes these plot lines pointless. But it also ruins the pacing. Asteroid City is told via this meta point of view being that it's a movie about a play of the city of the same name. So there are these cuts from the behind the scenes to the actual play and back and forth that just feels so off. They really never show or tell anything of substance and it really took me out. Which all culminate at the end of this one message that's supposed to mean something. That's supposed to have an effect on their story about grief and parenthood. But it literally just doesn't amount to anything noteworthy. It feels very unfinished and not enough thought was put into it as to how to wrap this entire thing up. Even the supporting cast feels like they're phoning in this generic Wes Anderson line delivery that is just annoying at this point. How long can they keep us in Asteroid City? Legally, I mean. Really, the only reason you want to watch this is if you want some pretty eye-catching candy with left and right pans, snap zooms, and symmetrical set designs. Also, if you like the plot scores, it's a lot more expressive and experimental here than his usual light keys. But other than that, it feels like a generic Wes Anderson movie. It doesn't move the needle at all, and funny enough, it actually feels like an AI made this. I'm feeling a 2.5 out of 5 on this. I wanted to like it, but there's just nothing there.